all about that psychological seduction. Hey, welcome back to my channel, Xiao here. Today's video, I want to talk about why we fall for the wrong person, including men and women. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Cheryl, Cheryl Issa. I make videos about wellness, skincare, lifestyle, education, and fashion related. If you're interested in all those content, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure you turn on the notification bell so you always get notified whenever there's a new video. I got myself a horchata latte, so I just want to share my thoughts why we both men and women fall for the wrong person why some relationships never worked out if you are interested keep watching i mean i really don't want to say the answer is because you're dumb you fall for the wrong person but there are so many other factors you know the effect of the way that we view a person look at a person the number one factor is bad boy attraction you probably have your own definition of bad boy. The kind of bad boy that I'm talking about is not about breaking things, robbing banks or like doing bad things and destroying things. That's not the kind of bad boy I'm talking about. Definitely got the good looks, not necessarily rebellious, but most likely, you know, broken inside examples. We have fictional characters. John Wick, a new sequel is coming out. This franchise has been so popular, so many people fantasize about this character. I think a lot of people can relate to, but we're not taking the same type of action in real life. That's why it's so captivating for a lot of people to see the journey of this character. Another character would be Joe Goldberg from the Netflix show You. In real life, you know, there are two people that I can give you an example. Johnny Depp and Brad Pitt. You know, think about what I just talked about, the definition of bad boy. Definitely got the good looks. It's not surprising. Even straight men are attracted to bad boys, uh, romantically or not. It's about the complexity in personality and the adversity in life. And these people, I'm talking about people consider bad boys. Just like any villains in movies, definitely more interesting to look at, whether it's their outfit, presentation, or the stories, you know. But the crucial thing that separates villains from the good guys and eventually validated them as the bad guys, you know, is their horrific past, the life experiences. We fall for these people. It's not just about that physical attraction. It's about something in his eye, you know, there's a story. I'm so moved to hear his or her stories. It's like a helpless attraction. It's not just about the looks. And there are also a couple other psychological factors or reason make us fall for these people, the wrong people, the opposite attracts the exact opposite in personality, upbringings, you know, for example, one is so well protected, the other one always have to fend for themselves growing up, so it's a difference make us attracted to somebody. Another thing will be unfulfillment in our own life, you know, hoping to experience something that we never experience. The grass is always greener on the other side, something that you don't know too much about, but definitely intrigued, expecting some adventurous, you know, excitement, in life. Think about it, that movie Bonnie and Clyde, she was so bored by her tedious everyday life and when Clyde came along, she was like, I'm down for this whatever journey that you know you're taking me. It's kind of psychologically making you feel like you're so unfulfilled in your own life and you're attracted by someone who just appear to have such an exciting, adventurous, interesting life. There are more psychological reasons or factors affect the way we look at or view a person, you know, especially someone that we don't know too much about. It's all about that psychological seduction. If you think about maternal versus paternal, maternal nurtures nature, you know, in women or maternal instinct, you know, that we have that motherly nature to protect like the mama bear. And that's why women have this mentality of, I can fix him, you know, whatever that hurt, whatever the past, whatever the wound. And since I mentioned maternal, there will be paternal. This guy reminded you of your dad. The woman reminded you of your mom. And whether it's personality, behaviors, or lifestyle, something rang the bell. It makes you feel like, oh my god, that's so familiar, you know, somebody I know. Because that reminded you of someone so close to you. Your parents, you know, your mom or your dad. It's almost like against our will, because maybe we're telling ourselves like, oh yeah, I never, I would never find a person like my mom or never find a person like my dad. It's 
you know, it's kind of like affecting you without you knowing. I mean, there is solution. You know, I believe anything has a solution. For the question of why we men and women fall for the wrong person, the solution is so simple. You have to see the pattern and what's making you feel so intrigued and trying to break the pattern of slowly, gradually falling for this person. There are certain things in your own life that you can work on, improve, say like unfulfillment in your own life. Instead of looking for falling for a person who leads a very exciting life, how about you live an exciting life? Have some experiences in life. You don't have to wait for that person, Prince Charming, whoever, sweep you off of your feet and make you feel like, oh my God, my life is so different now because I met this person. If it's something about maternal and paternal attraction or you know that factor that I just mentioned, it's all about amending that relationship with people in your life. The more you understand how your relationship with your parents, you know, with your mom, with your dad, the better you understand how to deal with people not supposed to stay in your life. I mean, this is not so random because I always have these thoughts and sometimes I just write them down. I thought maybe it'll be really helpful to some people, you know, like you're hitting the bumps in your relationship. I mean, I, I kind of like just sharing like my thoughts on this type of topic especially relationship related. I'm very interested in learning more about just relationships, you know, between people, how we can become a better person for ourselves and for our loved ones. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos every Monday, 11ish to noonish. Thanks for watching. I'm Cheryl, Cheryl Issa. I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.